Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Man Children. Man Children. Episode 7. Episode right. 7? Episode 7. Jesus. It should be more cuz we're the Jesus worst per- we're Christo. the worst people ever in getting stuff up. But uh <sighs> we always make the excuse for like, hey, uh we're going to get this one up on time, get this one up on time. A I think the last one was you. No, it like, was me. Yeah. That last month was just uh from money issues, all this kind of stuff getting you know, we work you know, all week like everybody else, but then it was actually when I got to my weekend, I just wanted to relax and not have <laughs> to do excuses. anything. Excuses, excuses. I could, I could, I could understand if it was like a week or two. Dude, we fucking suck yeah. at like. No, but that's like what makes them so much better. No, <laughs> get these not. little gems out of nowhere. We the next so one is going to be two months from now, and you got you guys won't know just <laughs> randomly. <laughs> I swear we're, we'll try to. Yeah. Well, well we're, it is what we're it is. one step closer now because a real big issue I had one was my computer, closer. and I recently just uh, ghetto rigged my computer with a fan system underneath yeah. and cooling the CPU and stuff. Nerd tech. We're gonna get it. We just now. need a, a GoFundMe page. I know. Please just fucking just buy us a new computer <laughs> 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 and new cameras. Just yeah, GoFundMe. <laughs> I always thought about doing that. Like, <coughs> what if I just went online? You know, there was this thing recently I heard on another podcast, uh, a more regular podcast. It actually gets it done when it was supposed to come out. But um, they put like people are putting their Venmo on their car and like, oh, um, bachelor party weekend. And people are just sending a bunch of money. Stop. And they just leave it on there. Really? And, yeah. And people are making bank. Like, you know, if you have. So to be, yeah. You have to be driving around the right place at the right time. You're probably going to get somebody who's like, like. In a party mood, like, hey, so let's, let's, we're gonna see you with the fucking. Venmo I immediately on your thought, car. yeah, I'm gonna start putting it Jesus all over every man. angle of my car. Um, my license plate <laughs> will be my Venmo name. But I actually wanted to. How was your holidays? Oh, so yeah. Uh, first of all, Happy New Year. Let's say Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year. It is yeah, now officially Happy 2024. Fireworks pff, right here. I'll try oh, to do it. I'll try to do it. <laughs> fireworks. We did fire. Remember fireworks? <laughs> just yeah, out fireworks of fire. It's just fire again. Yeah. <laughs> Don't move your hands, Michael. Just keep them still. <laughs> make, there we go. The fireworks came out of it. The more it moves, the harder it's going to be for me. Um, uh, but yeah, holidays. Uh, Christmas passed. New Year's passed. Um, I uh, had a good one. A calm Christmas. Did you stay in California? Stayed here. Um, Thanksgiving, I went out to Arizona. I was trying to see if my brother possibly, it's kind of like a switcheroo. Sometimes Uh if we go over there, uh, we'd figure maybe they'll come over here. That's how it kind of was last year. Uh, but we didn't go anywhere. It's basically my family. You know, my family is small before it was me, my grandma, my uncle, and then my cousin kind of back and forth. She was in, you know, now it's your, now it's just me, my mom and uncle Bob and mama, the dog and your, um, sister-in-law's family. Yeah, sister-in-law, and either sometimes they'll go celebrate over there in Arizona. Yeah. They used to live there for a while, but most of them live here now. But my mom just made uh, the staples, kind of like Thanksgiving-like staples, okay. just okay. food for myself. Nice. I think she does it mainly just so I have leftovers, because that's yeah. like my favorite meal. Bob had some, so it's just literally just us. My, we put on some Christmas music. I w- had a Christmas movie on the background, just nice. hung out, and then... So all in all, chill, yeah, chill holiday. Yeah, it was cool. That's and, rad. And then for Christmas, uh, I I took my mom. She's like, "Well, you go to bingo with me." I didn't want to go bingo, but I took her. I drove her up there, and okay. then went back and picked her up and everything. Oh, nice. Yeah. So that's cool. Besides that, I didn't really do. You know, after Grandma passed away, like 2013, once the matriarch of the family was gone, uh-huh. the all the holidays kind of went with it. And it just uh, didn't feel the same. We don't celebrate. Plus, there's no kids in our yeah. family. Nobody to buy gifts for. We we so for the past couple years, um, we've spent Christmas at um my wife's um uh, my wife's mother's uh house. Yeah, um, always a good time. Usually, it's they celebrate on Christmas Eve, which is Christmas nice. Eve, I yeah. never do anything, which Christmas is crazy because for them, um, I grew up in a uh, I grew up in a, like a white family, so like Christmas morning yeah, is, was this shit. That's it. But um, with my with my in laws. Um, it's Christmas Eve and fuck, it's, it's magical. Like the, the way they deck out the house and with, and you, you, you guys can, Mexican families can definitely yeah, attest. Uh, attest to like you dress up and it's just like, yeah, champagne even though it's the same people everything. all the time, <laughs> <laughs> the but it's great for, times. Yeah, it's, awesome. it's, it's been amazing the last couple, uh, the last couple of years. Shit. I think it's double digits at this point, but um, we finally switched it up mm-hmm. and we went out to Arizona to spend it with my family. Um, Big Wilcox. A shout yeah. out to our number one fan, <laughs> Will, Wilcox. But um, it didn't go as as I planned. Yeah. Um, 
definitely there's some like family issues, but my mother and my sister Katrina and my brother um <laughs> set issues. Set it um and phone, my brother Yo Yo um they came through. Like it was my sister her house was decked out. Um we had like these huge platters of food. What are they called? Sh- sh- Charcuterie. They call it <laughs> I know my sister calls it coochie boards. Coochie boards. Coochie boards. Coochie boards. It was huge. And um, they played games, watched um, football. Um, my my brother, Yo-Yo, and my nephew are really into football. Well, that whole family's into yeah. Cowboys. Um, but it was such a good atmosphere. Um, my wife, Rosa, had a great time. And then we also and got we into... Mom, yeah. yeah, I saw a mom. We also got into... Um, I'm not too sure if... And, and, I'm not trying to get like an opinion on this, but um, uh, my sister's family is like big firearm mm-hmm. people. And I just recently got my um, uh, license. Ooh, get it, girl. What's up? Gun, guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, love, we love guns. <laughs> no, but dude, uh, he put me onto so many and he showed me his own. Um, just a uh, highlight. Like, don't ever go into my sister's house. Uh, like, yeah. Jesus, they're strapped. But it was good. It, all around, it was good until Christmas um, night. Uh, I start feeling weird Christmas morning. Yeah, and then like, Michael is Michael's a walking plague because he'll be, he'll be <laughs> sick one day, and he's like, I feel like crap. And then Rosa's sick, and then he comes back, and he's like, Oh, I'm feeling better. And then it's like a week later, and he goes, No, I'm it's because I, I, I screw myself. I'm always he was sick like during Thanksgiving time too. I, I, I screw myself. It's um, my choices of. I work 12 hours a day, fucking, I get four hours of sleep, and then... Not eating at the right time. Not eating at the right times, eating... Uh, I'm not even going to say I eat like shit, because, like, Rosa pretty much holds it down, mm-hmm. like, health food, everything, but um, uh, I caught COVID um, during during Christmas. <laughs> it was a shit I, show. I got that licking pole. I fucking had fever pitch dreams, just, like... Christmas and then we had to travel the next day oh, yeah, and, and I felt so the, bad. Did Rosa drive or you? Yeah, drove? Rosa okay, drove good. while taking care of me. Uh-huh. Like I was fucking like tripping, seeing shit. Um, oh fuck, it, it was bad. But I spent that whole week up up until New Year's. Mm-hmm. I still have a like a cold. And the coughs never go away. When you get sick, they last for like a year. Yeah, like crazy. I've been clearing my throat. But I don't know when I last time I was sick really, but I've been literally every day. We work with a guy, a really cool old dude named Mickey. Fucking Mickey. Mickey, he does everything at my job. He's a volunteer, which is awesome, but he's just a workhorse. And all day he's, <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> and I was like, why does he always do that? Mickey's, every Mickey's seen some shit. Oh no, he's seen some stuff. But every day now, I uh, early it was just him and I in the morning, and all I do is go. <clears throat> I have it too. I'm like, <clears throat> so two guys are. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> He's like, we both greatest. sound like we're bidding at an auction. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> He's like, great. We were talking, um, me and another coworker were talking to him about, cause he's all about camping. Yeah. Oh yeah. And he's an outdoorsman to the max. Oh, he's, he's such a, everything. He's such a cool guy. But like the wilderness scares the fuck out of me. <laughs> like scares the yeah. fuck out of me. Just what's out there. Like, um, even if you're super prepared, you're always like the wilderness will take advantage yeah. of you. And I was asking, he was like, Oh yeah, I camp all the time. And he says he takes no weapons. Oh, he no. just goes out there and he has and a satellite says, phone just so his kids can get a hold of him and stuff. It. Yeah. That's I'm it. like, fucking that's Mickey. Crazy. But he seemed like he's probably, he's had a good life. You know, he's like, whatever. A bear takes <laughs> he's me a out. Yeah. Skinwalker. Yeah. No, he's going to mess with, no, he's fucking with that ponytail. He's going to mess you up. <laughs> Chap you. Love Mickey. He's oh, the best, Oh, he's man. the best, dude. Yeah. Um, we work with a lot of cool people. But um, n- uh, needless to say, uh, holidays were great up until COVID. Um, a big thank you to uh, my sister and Yo-Yo. Like, they came through. Um, they were over there like, where's the podcast? Where's the <laughs> yeah. damn podcast? It would have been cool for you to be able to watch it with them when they were there. Um, oh, did you? Because I posted it. When did I post it? No, one, so, yeah. I, I was I was back by the okay, time you back, that right. you had posted it. Yeah, fucking two months later. No, it was all my. We, we recorded on uh, December second. I was like, the fucking. End of the you could tell I was like twenty pounds lighter. It was like <laughs> six years ago. Sure. <laughs> but um, any New Year's resolution? Oh uh, yeah, like, I think New Year's resolutions. Wait, wait, do you even believe in that shit? Do you, no, do, do because you it, clearly everybody through? else does. Because you know, I started going to the gym a few months ago. Uh, and I thought it would change. I thought it would change, you know, like, oh, 
Because it's, last- it's time for Alana to talk yeah. about himself. <laughs> Here not- we go. <laughs> the um. <laughs> Um, you was, know it too. It's over you your ready? face. Here we go. <laughs> He's like, yes. <laughs> yeah. Now I get to talk about myself. Thank you, thank you for asking about me, Michael. <laughs> I don't really want to say anything, but but uh, I'll say a little bit. <laughs> the um, no, but like you know, every New Year's that's the main. I think that's the main thing on everybody's list is to go to the gym, get in shape, and stuff. Mm-hmm. I was worried because going to the gym at the end of the year, like started a few months ago, I was like, oh, it's going to be crazy. Luckily, the gym I go to mm-hmm. over there in. Did the, you like, see any difference? No difference, especially the majority of the time I'm doing it, I get out of work around eight o'clock. It's only open for like uh, an hour, kind of dead. So it's it's pretty dead. But my roommate, uh, he went in to the gym. He goes to National City here, uh-huh. and he's he didn't actually go. He he looked at like there's there's a meter that tells you like how busy it is or whatever. Yeah. And it was the highest he's ever seen. And he asked his friend, "Oh, you went there today?" He's like, "Dude, you cannot get on anything, yeah. literally." And you, I don't know if you saw any of the New Year's celebrations, like the Times Square nah. thing. It, the whole entire Times Square was sponsored by Planet Fitness. Oh, that's the gym we're going to. So they're smart. Like, oh, they know everybody's going to do that. So yeah. a bunch of people signed up for the gym. And it's all you just have to wait a little while for them to kind of die off. Yeah. And I'm not saying I'm a gun ho guy. I'll probably die off. To, last year is when I first started losing weight. Not, I mean, the year before. And then the moment I started eating sweets and all the good stuff, mm-hmm. I just went off the rails and I went right back to it. So right now it's really hard because we had, <laughs> we had multiple uh, cookie parties at work. We yeah. had one for the employees, one for like volunteers that come in, yeah. and then they sent me home with food, and then donuts. Well, like the our, tens of our CEO would show and, up donuts all the time, and yeah. chocolates, and our our founder of the company gave me chocolates. Like so, it's like I try not to eat them, but I have a sweet tooth big even, time. I, don't even, I had a good talk with um, <coughs> a, f- a friend of ours. Uh-huh. <coughs> Sorry, um, COVID. Um, a friend of ours, um, Allison. Um, I don't give a fuck about uh, working out. I, I, I'll do it and I, I know it'll better me, but like at this point, um, I'm happy where yeah. I'm at. And it's um, hard to do it when you're just like so tired from work and stuff yeah. like that, you know, don't get wrong. Uh, do I wish I was fucking thinner? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I don't fucking care. But, but at this the, point, Michael, <laughs> you are who you are. That's your brand. You know, you are who you are. It is what it, it is. It is what it is. Michael's going to get on across the It is what it is. What just, thug life. Yeah. <laughs> you just get that across your belly. But that's what I said. It's like, hey, that, that's literally what it's all about. The only reason I do it, it's not to live forever because I would love to live forever. It's I'm so vain. Jeez. I am so vain. And if yes. I don't check myself out, we had this conversation with a volunteer today. And she was like, I told her about, I want to get my hair surgery and stuff and all this crazy shit. You're telling shit. everybody. Yeah. No, I would say, yeah. <laughs> go, go fund me right here. Lotto, okay. Lotto, Lotto's hair Can surgery. Can someone get him hair, please? Yeah. Somebody, it's I'm only so 35 bucks at Lotto. I always put it aside. I never put the money to go for it. But I had the uh, competition on it. I'm going to get my full head. If I did, it'd be dangerous, though. If I had my hair back, I'd become the most cocky fucking version of myself. I'm already that way. Can we get a counter up here of how many times this guy changes the conversation to himself? Come on. Back we to literally me. went from you talking about yourself to what we were just talking about. Like, we're talking about New Year's resolutions. <laughs> and the resolution, my, we resu- from my Mickey, number one resolution we from is to, to like you. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we're done. <laughs> Screw Mickey. Back to me. <laughs> I'm thinking of getting a ponytail. Right? <laughs> yeah, <what the> fuck <laughs> Someone just buy him hair already. Yeah. The New Year's resolution, though, is uh, always bettering yourself. And hopefully I continue to do what I was doing at the end of the year. So what, what is your plan? What do you None. think? None. 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 I, don't, I don't believe in that Making shit. Making more money? No. I, no. no, no, yeah, no. Obviously, that's yeah. always the goal. Yeah. That's always the yeah. goal. But that always determines I, somebody else. Kind of determines that as well. You no, know? fuck no. I'm going to start selling my body. <laughs> you know? yeah. Fucking America was built on prostitution. Ooh, Go fund me OnlyFans. Go fund me <laughs> OnlyFans. Hey, I respect it. Yeah. If I get the fuck. Yeah, if I was a sexy person in general of a girl, I would be totally doing not, that. not necessarily a girl. There's, there's no, but if I was. Oh. Who, which ones do you subscribe me, to? Michael? <laughs> Michael subscribed to all hey, the ones. It's it's all love. It's all love. Um Does anybody do anything on there like other than like the sexy stuff? You like act, act you like Act like I know. No, but like Evie, you're, you're on Rose, the tic- you're on TikTok God, now. I don't know that you're, shit. You're on the TikTok, so I, maybe you're the TikTok. more the TikTok. <laughs> hey, you're on the TikTok. You, <laughs> I sound like an Eastern European. <laughs> Are you on the TikTok? You're on the TikTok. You're on the TikTok. <laughs> what the? Hell? I'm on TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, but I think that's that's a a, a juxtaposition, <gasps> probably closer to that world of stuff. Like 
the people on it and things like that. No, I'm I'm brand because, new to TikTok. I, we get I the, can't get my fucking yeah. algorithm. Instagram right. Instagram gets the, the the leftovers. They throw over <laughs> the thing. They don't even change. It still has all of like the layout and format. <laughs> In the picture, I'm brand new. Like I, I still ask Rosa. I ask coworkers. I'm like, how do you do this? How do you? Yeah. And then someone was talking to me about how, like, oh, how's your algorithm? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, mine's like, a, for some reason, my TikTok's like stuck on cop videos, and I'm just like, what the fuck? I wonder how that works. Like, how many do you have to watch? How many people do you have to watch get shot? <laughs> <I> <laughs> like, giving you all the things. Like, yeah, what the? Hell? I've seen some of mine. It's I like keep some dude doing just, like not interested. Yeah, yeah, not, no, interested. You're not interested. That in Blue Chew, like oh, that. Yeah. Um, well, we know why. why you know? <laughs> what the it I'm is. Like, it, 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 you know, your phone listens to everything you say. I, Rosa's never, always like, Michael, I think you should try Bluetooth. <laughs> I think the, you should try Bluetooth. I was like, what is this Bluetooth? Like, is it bubble yeah. gum? You know what it probably could be is you're watching certain people think and they're, they're <laughs> sponsored by it. So they talk about it or something. Uh, and maybe it hears it from that. Like, it, it chimes in on everything. The Internet's always listening to every damn thing you're doing. But that shit's a black fucking hole. Yeah, it like, is. Well, I, the inter- you know, the, I think we've all talked about it before, like Google listening to everything and uh, yeah. Showing you things. The other day, I I told you we went to go see a movie. We'll get into it later a little bit. Oh yeah. But yeah, yeah. um, remember Very on cool. the on the way there to the movie, I saw a cyber truck here in San Diego, and I was like, oh, oh yeah, shit, yeah. It. So I was like, oh cool, cyber yeah. truck. You know, like I can't see like buying an electric car. I'm not really sold on it. But mm. if I did buy an electric car, and of course if I had the money, like a, a Elon Musk, or I was balling out of control, <laughs> I would want a Sorry. wacky vehicle, like something that really goes. When you see it, it makes a statement. Right. I saw that thing on purpose. I I, or I saw it in an accident, and I was like not expecting to ever see that thing until you know it was actually mm. released. Since they don't do any advertising, it's I think it's their way of advertising. Drive it around in a popular city, uh-huh. people see it, and maybe they'd want to buy it. And I, I remember I called Danny, my friend, on the way to the movies. I was like, dude, I saw a Cybertruck in person. It actually looks pretty cool in person, like seeing it like being like a giant toy. Did it and start I, popping up? Huh? No. Did it start popping up? But here's the funny thing. The exact conversation we had, I was like, imagine that thing. What if it gets into an accident? Like, you know, it's like bullet resistant and stuff. Wonder what it would do to another Is it car. Bullet? Is it yeah, bullet? it's like bulletproof. Like you shoot it in the window. Didn't he like fail massively? Well, um, when they threw like a, a baseball at it and it cracked the window, but now it's actually like even Joe Rogan shot an arrow at it and wow. it didn't pierce it. But I was like, imagine that thing smashing in the car, all the sharp edges and stuff. And I was like, man, I wonder what it'd do to like my car. The very next day, I'm on Instagram, and it's an, an ad, like not ad, but like an article popped up, a video one, and it says, uh, first ever accident with Cybertruck. It was like on a road, and it smashed into a car. The car mm-hmm. was annihilated, and it was a black Corolla, just like my car, which is wild. Jesus. That I didn't even bring up the type of car I had or anything. Yeah. It just knew it. Uh, I know <laughs> almost like AI made it happen. It was like <laughs> Lano needs this on command. <laughs> it, but it's it, the crazy thing that it was Sorry. a cyber truck. It was an accident like the very next day. Yeah. And it was my car, which is wild. So it's I, just, now I know exactly what happened to my car if I smashed into it. Into a cyber truck. Yeah, and nothing happened to it. So how you feeling right now? Mike, Michael's still coughing. He's got this. I feel like shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I it like, it like I'm like wheezing right now. It like comes and goes, and it's like perfect timing. So I was like this. Um, we went and watched uh, Iron Claw, yeah. Milano and Rosa, and dude, that movie going in. Okay, wait. Before I go into that, um, I had to cough the whole fucking movie, and that movie, just a heads up, is pretty like um, a lot of quiet downtime. Pretty too. hard, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and it's like heavy. Um, and a lot of quiet time. So That's it was like, it's super heavy. It's oh, just depressing as hell. But Zac Efron, yeah. God, that guy's such a good actor. Like I, I'm going to like, yeah, we, was, I think we debate on this. Like I love, I, I do like the guy, but something about him, like it's his acting. I can tell he's trying to act. I don't know what it is. You know how we talked before, like Leonardo DiCaprio, he loses himself in the role. You believe everything. Tom Cruise I, is I, Tom Cruise. Yeah, he, he's Tom Cruise, but he truly believes he's the guy that he's playing in the movie. But he's movie. not. Like, yeah, but you he's watch not, a yeah, Tom Cruise but, movie and it's Tom Cruise. Yeah, I'm watching it because it is Tom Cruise, but I do believe he I bring thinks up Tom he's Cruise Maverick. Because this guy's in love yeah, with him. Yeah, I do and believe. I think he, he thinks he's Maverick. He thinks he's, you know, all these people. Ethan Hunt. Do you Hunt. think he's a good actor? Oh, I think he's a great actor. When he's actually given the thing where no, he's no, not no, just not, trying to do not, stunts. Not his stunt, not his. Do you think Tom yeah, Cruise is a good like, actor? Like, dude, uh, one of the movies I could still watch this Rain Man. I can watch that over Jerry Maguire. They're all awesome freaking movies. I don't. Born I think, on the Fourth of July. I think he's entertaining. I don't think he's a great actor. I think he's an evolved Mark Wahlberg. No, he was nowhere near <laughs> Mark Wahlberg. Like Mark Wahlberg is way lower <laughs> tier than okay, him. Okay, but but back to back to Iron Claw. Yeah. So Iron Claw. Um, yeah, I, it was horrible hell, yeah. trying to hold my cough throughout the whole movie. It sucked, but the movie was amazing. 
from my yeah. point no, of view. I think it was an amazing movie. It's just certain acting things. I took Ro- we took Rosa. Um, Rosa came with us. Jesus, yeah. I took we Rosa. Rosa, Rosa right came on. with us. You're gonna and, watch some wrestling tonight. And she was bummed when oh, I. No, yeah. She was like, "What's the movie about?" And I was like, "Oh, it's um about um yeah, this sad. like famous like wrestling family." Like, oh god, wrestling. And she was like, "Oh god." She was like, "Okay, whatever." Like, I want to get out of the house. And we went, and she bawled. Oh yeah, at the multiple very end, yeah. times. Um, I think I think I would have. Um, have I cried through some a uh, uh, few movies? Cried yes. or teared up? Uh, cried. I've cried oh, in yeah. a few movies. Um, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, hey, if, uh, it, if it hits so, me, it hits me. So, right, yeah. If it hits me, it hits me. But um, I, throw up. I couldn't. It was such a good movie, and it was heartfelt, heartfelt, whatever. But I couldn't because I, I already know the history of it. Uh, yeah. I already know who's who's gonna pass and what's happened. And they uh, missed out on a brother, the Chris. They didn't have one brother in the whole movie. I guess they figured that, that like a time length, they didn't want to put it in there, so they kind of combined uh, the youngest brother's death with the second <coughs> youngest brother's death together, kind of thing. It was just crazy. That whole family, like that yeah, sucks. It's, it's like really, really cursed. Um, but um, what was I gonna say? And I can't really shit all over because you're like, oh, it's not like the thing. As Kevin, the last remaining brother, signed off on everything. So at least as long as it follows, like. The person who it's about is like, yeah. yeah, I'm okay with that. The the liberties that you took and things like that, because it's still a movie, but it still goes in line. That movie was really really good. Yeah. It's it, it's heartbreaking uh, to say the least. But Zac Efron, Jesus yeah. Christ, Dude, that, guy that guy was, was a beefcake. Pumpkins on his shoulders. Like, <laughs> his fucking huge. chest was. Like, I don't understand. And you see him now. How do you go that big and that small without lights? Like, yeah, I know. But like here, without being disproportionate, like, seems like it would stretch your body or fuck your body up. But he's he probably was, messed up. Probably medically inside or something i can't imagine that being too healthy no i i'm pretty sure they have like some of the best trainers in the world mm-hmm. that like know how to get him to that yeah. point like but he, the healthy way yeah, and the safest massive. way massive like massive i literally i was like man too bad he did this role because he could play he-man in a movie or something you know like Ma- he looked exactly like he-man just he looked like a like one of the bodybuilders yeah. like the oh the yeah show, like an actual, like, not a superhero he literally looked like the world's strongest man kind of thing but, not even that just but be, then you like Arnold. And then you like Google his height, and hey, no offense to all you short kings yeah, out short there. Kings. <laughs> They're hot. What's going on? Five eight. Yeah, five eight. And he plays a guy who's supposed to be six one. They even bring it up. Yeah, there. yeah, He's yeah, like yeah. Six one. I was like, and then but Jeremy. All, yeah, yeah, Jeremy Allen is White. even smaller. Yeah, he, and he's supposed to be really <laughs> tall. The the Texas tornado yeah, in real life is like huge. Oh, I never realized that he lost a foot. And he wrestled in the WWF that's and everything. Crazy. That you could is not crazy. tell, and that's why he was in that. Like being, we're not gonna ruin it for it. When it it's not even a story you can ruin. Like no, I even it's, recommend. It's I don't even recommend watch. Um, Vice has a, a documentary on them, and it gives you. It's, it's not a super in depth because there's another one out there I know that gives a really no, in depth. The dark interviews. side of the ring. Yeah, yeah dark side of the dark ring. Of your, I think uh, that might be the one from Vice. Really good, but it dives more into that yeah. type of thing. I really, I really, really enjoyed that movie. It was really good, and then just like us hanging out and having fun, that was cool. I know we haven't done that ever. I we would like to ideally. I want to, you know, I love talking about movies. You love talking about movies. I think periodically we need to probably go out and see movies. It was fun. It was a yeah. experience going out and doing that, you, you, so we can bring it up. You definitely. I, we both consume a lot of like, if not movies, TV shows, and. Um, yeah, not as much now. It's I literally feel like I come and then I work on a random little project in my yeah. room and then I go back. What to he's work. trying to get at is he wants to do another podcast for just strictly movies. I don't have to. I want to mix it in here, but I think Michael's right. We kind of want to. I do want it to be broad. I would like every episode to be broad, ideally, to give everybody. But I give us some feedback. But well, would yeah. you guys would you guys watch it or do you not care? Um, it doesn't. Obviously, we would have to watch r- movies that we're not really. Yeah, I think the majority of the people who watch our stuff kind of just like us talking about stuff and things going on from every everywhere from what's going on after butt stuff. Everybody loves the butt stuff. Or just Lano. And or, or Lano, <laughs> you know, Lano stuff, you know. Uh, but we, we, need, we need a segment in every show just so you can you can just get that out of your system. Yeah. Like five minutes. Here you go, Lano. Let's talk about oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> Could it be just like five? It's the Lano's corner. <laughs> and what the camera go like? I'll go to a different corner of the room where there's like a and cigar. It's just five minutes yeah, of yeah, you just, just, yeah, just flexing, flexing, just like in the mirror. You're so just handsome. Just to stroke your. You're so like the camera. The camera looking at me, looking in the mirror. You're so handsome. Lana. <laughs> Fuck man. You're so just just bu- putting butter on my body and just wiping it off. <laughs> Oh shit! Um, earlier, before we had started recording, we were 
talking about random embarrassing stories oh, yeah. and had a segue into it. Yeah. Well, yeah. And um, well, I had asked. I was hoping I had one. I really don't have anything like embarrassing stories. Sh- I don't. <laughs> I wish I did. I wish I'm I had just stuff. that cool. No, no, it's not that cool. <laughs> just I didn't do much or anything where it put me as a, I, I've had a few scares, like, you know, like poop, poop, fuck, poop scares, maybe. You're fucking Chuck Norris. Oh, no, I'm Chuck Norris. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't push up. I push the earth down. Yeah. <laughs> they think like we're saying embarrassing things. <laughs> sorry, I think sorry, I told, her, I think once when I was younger, I had to go to the bathroom really bad and I was in the back of my mom's car. And this is like, I'm not a baby. I must've been like, seven eight years old or something like that and we're really close and it's that thing where my mom was just hold it just yeah. hold it and i'm i'm like bracing it like there's like a compact and i'm like i'm in the back like holding my stomach and i have my head like no oh, we gotta go we gotta go and then uh, she's like no hold it we're almost home and won't just go and it slings into the bottom of the other, like like a like a, a hammock and it's just hanging out there so i had to waddle upstairs and sorry, sorry. we're grossing and then flop it out in the toilet yeah that <laughs> It was a good manly one too for a kid. Yeah. Oh, I don't, my Michael, shit. Michael probably does. Michael's done. A, he's told me a lot of embarrassing stuff. We oh. gotta tell the world somebody. What's your most embarrassing? Wait. I, so oh, fuck, man. I don't really. There's a few of them. We don't. Have, we can say. You don't have to say the I don't place. Wanna, oh, my wife's gonna divorce mm-hmm. me. <laughs> She's just like. Don't she know yeah. about it? Yes. Yeah, I, yeah, I tell her everything. Yeah. So I have multiple like. Oh fuck! Here we go. Whatever, press the fuck. So I've I've shit myself multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> not 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 by choice. Just, not by choice. My God, it's diapers because just don't want to do anything. I, I, fuck! I need to start investing yeah. in them. Um, I have like, fuck, man. I have multiple stories, yeah. but um, a lot of we're young and dumb, you know. Younger yeah. Younger and dumber. <laughs> We're we're just gonna trickle those in over the over the next few podcasts. Yeah. But um, one of the most embarrassing ones was when I first started dating. Oh fuck! I'm really gonna tell this story. <laughs> God, I'm such an idiot. Sorry, Rosa. Um, when I started dating <laughs> Rosa, <laughs> she's like shit. <coughs> um, when I started dating Rosa, sorry. <coughs> um, Michael's dying. Yeah, fuck. Um, this is the universe telling me yeah. don't do yeah, it. Don't, 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 don't do it. Tell it. The people uh, want it. Fuck. So um, we had just gone on a date and I was dropping her off. And um, Rosa lives in South. Uh, her family lives in South Park. She used mm-hmm. to live in South Park. And if you know, if uh, everyone knows, um, South Park, uh, there's lots of canyons around it. Yeah. Close um, to a freeway to like pretty yeah, close. To, yeah. yeah. So where she's at, it's she's like uh, half a block away from this huge canyon. And it's pretty dark over there. But I was dropping her off <laughs> and like through... Like, I was like, my stomach started rumbling. And have you ever gotten cold sweats? Oh, yeah, for sure. Like that one where you know, your body knows how close you are to a toilet. So it's just, you're like cramping. You're just like, like so hang in there. I know? like to joke with Rosa and be like, hey, like my stomach knows. It's like, you oh, got yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah, go. Yeah. So my yeah. stomach my, was like. <laughs> I only have so much strength. <laughs> my stomach was like cold sweats. My stomach was like, hey. We're almost there. Let's go. Oh, but <laughs> were you still like dealing with her, like talking? And no, everything so the I was like, when I, I walked her, it? I walked her to the uh-huh. door and it was pretty late and all her, like her family goes to bed super early. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna, by that time, um, at that moment, I didn't really, um, I wasn't too comfortable with her family. Yeah. So I'm not Even gonna, even this very day, like there. <laughs> what we want to know again, comments, how long does it take you to poop at somebody else's yes. house that you're dating? Yes. When does poop come into play? <laughs> how long will you hold it? For men, it's a completely different thing. Farting, all that kind of stuff. We don't, we hold it in. We're dying. Into, you know how much pain we're in on dates? I still, I still don't, I don't, oh. I, don't I don't pass gas or fart, whatever. At my mother in law's. Oh no, no, no. like Fuck. families, no. like and see, they have a bathroom downstairs <laughs> where they all hang out. No way, and they won't let you use the one upstairs. You know, they will. They, 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 they no, will. But when we were first there, you don't go up to somebody else's room and kind of wander around. You got to use the downstairs one. But there's tile, so it echo. You're like, you don't want any of that shit. I hate so, that. So, um, I'm just gonna give you a heads up too. Uh-huh. Like at this point in my life, I am a pro at <laughs> shit. <laughs> There's what, what, so I, I, I walk her to the house and, um, 
like I, I'm, I have cold sweats, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I lo- okay, bye, I love you. She's like, oh, he's so nervous. And then I, I leave, and I'm like, oh fuck. And at that point, I lived in La Mesa, I and it was run down the end of the block. <laughs> and the thing really, like, your ass cheeks. Somebody's on, the, somebody's on the patio next door. <laughs> Can I use your bathroom? I'm like, get out of here, you ass cheeks yeah, clinched. Yeah. And I'm like running to my car. I'm like, I got this, I got this. <laughs> Just concentrate, and I can get, to, I can get home, mm-hmm. La Mesa, um, and then do my thing. And I get to the car. And at that moment, my stomach was like, fuck you, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fuck, time. Fuck your false dream. And I was like, no. I was like, oh, my God. I was freaking out. It's time. And so yeah. I literally ran back to her house. And I was like, I'm I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'm going to poop in her house. It is what it is. <laughs> and I start knocking and no one answers. What the hell? <laughs> I'm like, I just she walked just goes upstairs. That was a wonderful day. She just goes like, <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> um, I actually... I'm at this point freaking the fuck out because like my body's like we're gonna we're doing yeah, this doing it. and so I run around the house to her window and I start throwing rocks <laughs> at her window like <laughs> while clenching you know you're like oh my god and I'm like fuck and I'm like you know what? fuck it I need to get somewhere so I run <laughs> to my car and I'm like I jump in the car and I'm driving down uh, it's it's where she lives. It's a one way down this hill. It's a one way. And on the left side is Canyon. <laughs> and I'm like getting down to, I got like two blocks away. Oh, so you went down a bit. Okay. I went two blocks away. Okay. <laughs> and then game over. <laughs> I've never felt this in my life. Um, <laughs> just fear? No, just my bowels just. <laughs> 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 And I just sat there at the stop sign, just like, <laughs> what just happened? Uh, yeah. And it just like, I was like, oh my God. And I was like, I can't sit in this. So like I pulled over and this is a couple of blocks away from uh, uh, place. And just, I looked around and I'm just like, fuck. And like, I get out and like, I like, like waddle to the. <laughs> stop driving roll. He's like. Like you're on fire. <laughs> and it was the worst thing on earth, Lano. Like, I'm in the dark halfway down this canyon <laughs> in a bush. Like a lighter. You're just like walking around the lighter. No light. No yeah. light. I didn't have my cell like, was, What's going on, buddy? <laughs> it was pitch black. And like, I took my pants off and everything. <laughs> and I. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Wait, you left them there, right? <laughs> I left my pants there. <laughs> what, what did you walk up with? <laughs> I <laughs> left them there. Why was you underwear? I put my shirt down. My shirt down. I put my shirt down. I, <laughs> I was even thinking about this. I was like, you shoot your pants. Like, you, cleaned, like, you cleaned it up and went home. And it, I didn't you realize you I just I left them. <laughs> I use my socks. I cut up. I like tore my socks into like. <laughs> this is horrible. I like tore my socks up and I use my socks. Oh man! And <laughs> I have my shirt down. And I just <laughs> you sat on your seat, pants. <laughs> Please tell me you put something else down. You put something else on your. You put something on your seat, right? I had. <laughs> I had basketball shorts oh in my, my trunk. God. Oh, good. Oh, my God. I thought you went the whole time. But my seat, I thought you drove my all the way seat was so... Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so sorry for coughing. Oh, man. Oh, We're so fuck. sorry for this story. Um, fuck. Um, so, <laughs> you can just imagine this fucking heavy set man yeah. in the pitch <laughs> black. <laughs> like, well, just pooping. Hello, madam. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, went, I went down there and then... I'm sorry for littering, but I just left. <laughs> They're everything. still there, I guarantee it. We my, gotta go find them. My shoes, my socks, <laughs> my <laughs> pants, my underwear. And on your leg. <coughs> oh man! Oh, it was. Horrible. Anybody see you when you got home? Was anybody awake? <laughs> everybody was awake. Oh, it's but I ran. I, <coughs> I ran and. Oh, <laughs> showered and then afterwards i i had told greg and them just because i felt stupid <laughs> and they were just like you're yeah, fucking yeah. disgusting Dude, um i can't imagine it was good times man oh, yeah. that was just one time um <laughs> of the many and I, i'll t- you ever been another. embarrassed in front of people to what and anything you've ever done have you ever been embar- embarrassed in front of people 
public speaking, anything like that. Oh, huh. Mm. What what is your biggest fear uh, like in public? What's your biggest thing that besides shit in your pants? Um, public speaking, I'm really yeah. Um, unless I prepare for it, like I mean, like um, well, how can you just segue into like yeah. public speaking? Um, unless I like really really prepare for it, um, I stutter a lot. Yeah. Like I'm interested because this you wouldn't you wouldn't I don't think you would think so with how casual we are talking like this. But again, we're <coughs> friends and stuff like that. But I remember uh, initially, I think that your your hesitation towards this was that you even though that we're doing it to a camera, you, oh, you kind of felt like, out. yeah, you were kind of like, oh, there's people there. Yeah, there's this people out, out there. Yeah. Like I I instantly have like cold sweat. Like I have like a cold sweat going on right now yeah. of like the fear of me telling that story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like Rosa disappointed. Mm-hmm. Um, thank God my mother-in-law doesn't watch oh, this. Yeah. She's like, ugh. But <coughs> like this freaks me out, like putting myself out there. Yeah. Um, but it is what it is. Um, because if is, I'm close enough to you, like a lot of my friends have already heard this story yeah. before. Um, I didn't. I heard of it. I didn't even process the fact of like, how did you wait? How bad was it? What did you leave behind? How did you get home? Yeah. No, I didn't. I totally forgot. You, I didn't even think about you doing that. Like walking. Can out. you imagine if? Yeah, because there was what, houses. Yeah, there. if you just came out, just the guy smoking a cigarette, guy. walking out the like, canyon. What the? Yeah. Fuck? And even <laughs> worse, if somebody else came up, like a homeless guy came up later after you, you're like, what happened down there? <laughs> just the aftermath. Yeah. Just the trail of. Like a slug, just like scraping your butt down the ground. But you said, I said with public speaking and stuff, how do you feel from the first episode to now? Um, it's it, I'm I'm way more comfortable. Yeah, like um, obviously by the story to tell and everything, but um, it's easier. Like the first time we did this, uh-huh. I was like, did you say this first time or that first time or your living room first time? Um, I would say the living room and this. So what we had done, or we haven't dropped those. But we had done two like, dry, like trial yeah, runs, trial runs yeah. beforehand. One in my living room, and then we did one right here, like a different setup with a table. And um, I can be really honest with you, like uh, I kept on like 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 I kept on yeah. saying like I do that too. Yeah, I say yeah all the time. Yeah, but I was mine's more of a confirmation. I want to let people let them know I'm paying attention, kind of thing. And while we were talking in those two podcasts, like <clears throat> I kept on concentrating on like what I was saying, and I was like. It was tripping me up, but I now it's first, like more so like was, just a conversation. Yeah, I think the first first one was like really good. But yeah, there was technical difficulties all over the place. I wasn't happy with the quality when we came out. I wanted to come out strong. I wanted people to see something and be like, "Oh, that didn't seem like it was your first yeah rodeo." No, but like in general, public speaking, um, I fucking suck at it, dude. And this this actually helps out a lot because it's, um, and it's easier too because like once it's out there, it's out there. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't take what i'm saying right now back it's it's out there we'll delete it down the line yeah. we'll do, it's just a big bleep over the whole thing and us laughing <coughs> i'm gonna run for office later you gotta fucking delete all this yeah, shit that's what i said i'm not gonna i i'm already said i you know word vomit all the time public speaking never really, you know I, I i can't say public speaking wasn't always an issue because the way i am extrovert and stuff i think i've always been of an entertainer to my friends and family no, but, i think you i i've heard you do your um so when Lano at work, um, they do these tours mm-hmm. and like you speak to like, like groups intros, of like yeah. 30 to 40 mm-hmm. people. Um, you do really, really well. Like to me though, like I would have to practice what I'm going to say in front of that group. Mm-hmm. And then I pick like one spot in the crowd or above the crowd. <laughs> and then I'm just like, <laughs> the whole time they're like, <coughs> look over I'm there. really sorry about the coffin. Yeah. Damn. Um, but yeah, no, but this is, this is cool. Um, it is, it's kind of therapeutic. To yeah, be it is. I, we we're talking before with therapy. This feels like a therapy thing. It's just talking. I, you know, I think everybody knows me. I love talking. I talk Jesus too, du- I talk Christ, too much. Yeah. yeah. But I love <laughs> it. It, 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 it fuels me. Like I said, but growing up and stuff, like I'm, we go out twenties on up since I've known you've been out. I'm a dance machine. I love dancing and stuff, yeah. but you could not get me to do any of that stuff when I was younger. People really? might not believe. No. So I had this fear of being inadequate or like I have to, like this whole thing. Like I won't do it unless I know it's going to look really good or whatever. Like, uh. so I wouldn't just go out and just randomly spew. Hey, check this out. So it took a girlfriend to get me to do it. And women will get me to do multiple things in life, like <laughs> to get me out of a slump or get me to actually get up and do something. But I used to, 
we had a radio station here called 92.5, and it plays like all Earth, Wind, Fire, jams, all right? the slow jams, all the old songs. We grew up on the the second version the cold, of the Cold Storm, or? no, the Quiet Storm. Quiet Storm. Yeah, I think it was like uh, was it Art, not Art LeBeau, Art, 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 Art LeBeau, wasn't it? No, that was one. That was, yeah. a, that was a show, but I think it was Art Dove, right? The the person who hosted it, the Quiet Storm. I think it was Art Dove. No, no, I think it was uh, I think it was Art LeBeau. I think that was the, the guy no, who did this, not this the show. Quiet Sto- it not was the Quiet it was Storm. like it, it was inspired by like Shaw Day type of music initially. Yeah, yeah. But really late at night, they played the slow jams. But they would just play the old school stuff all the time. And we we grew up on the, probably the third generation of Soul Train watching. And I used to play that music. And I would practice, like, dan- I would dance in my room by myself, all that kind of stuff. I You know, watching uh, Michael Jackson moves, all that kind of thing. And I, But at school dance, it was like, <coughs> like those old Disney movies, like girls on one side, guys on the other side. Uh-huh. And I wanted to dance, but I just wouldn't put on a show. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. And, and people ask me, do you dance? I was like, oh, I don't dance. I don't dance. And it took me going to a quinceanera with my girlfriend, like one of my first like major girlfriends at the time, went over to Tijuana and we go there and I'm sitting there and her family from Mexico is there and everything. They're meeting me kind of for the first time. They hear about this like half Mexican, more weddo, you know, like yeah. more like a white guy. And I'm sitting there and they're, they're playing good songs. They're playing all these songs too. And you're like, oh man, I want to dance. But she's like, come dance. I was like, no, 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 no. I don't dance. So I'm just sitting there like a lump being a loser. She starts dancing. And then like, you know, these cheesy guys start coming up to her and start dancing with her. And I remember something just clicked in me. Literally. I was like, nope. So I got up, you know, like slow motion, <laughs> go out to the dance floor. And I said, excuse me. And I, like, you know, she was like, what? And then immediately I just, every move that was bottled up inside of me, that kind of really took me into another type of how I want to entertain or something. But I started dancing for like four hours like straight. That. 80s movie where like the guy in the background is like yeah, yeah you can do it i'm like i'm like, giving him a thumbs up but i started dancing from that moment literally that kind of triggered everything besides always being a goofy guy in school and stuff but it triggered everything and from that point on i always loved doing it and going out and i, nice. I wish i could do it more but it's it doesn't the chances don't come up as much because all my old friends are lame no dancing. Yeah. No dancing. No, Michael dances. Here's to, the thing, though. Michael gets some drinks him, and he does uh, it. Yeah, he does uh, this. Uh, he does that yeah. around everybody. Yeah, it's that's a good it. hey. That's, I don't because care. I have a beautiful wife that's that right. like hey. dances amazing, oh, yeah. and she she dances. But you're dancing. That's and the I'm just thing. there. I'm the supporting actor yeah. in her. Uh, what was it? Um, what did we just watch? That um, I think. Oh, it was Dave Chappelle. Mm-hmm. Um, where it's like. Um, I uh, I took from the whole like when you're meeting someone or you're talking with someone it's like either you're in their dream or they're oh, in, yeah. or you're yeah, a part yeah, of yeah. their dream yeah. and like when we go out to dance I'm a part of her dream yeah. like she's she's the star she's dancing amazing people are watching her <laughs> you look and I'm just just there yeah. to like but as long as you're doing something I hate when people say I can't dance because I I think about that I used to say that. And knowing that I was a person that could dance, but said I, I can't dance or I don't dance. Yeah. Like as long as you move to the music, you're you're participating. That's all cool. I don't find any. I don't think anybody's a bad dancer. If yeah. you're willing to put yourself out there and start moving to music, and I'm I lucky because like when we go out with um uh my family, like Rosa's sisters, and they're all beautiful. So it's like yeah, <laughs> you just I'm look just, good being I'm there, just yeah. happy to be yeah. there. I'm like yeah, what's up? But um, I miss those days, man. I have time machine right now. I'm, I'm building stuff all the time. You're then so my, sad, my next dude. project time machine. He's man. like, I'm already dead. No, like, no, 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 but just, I would love to go back and be able to do it. Like, <coughs> like go dance tonight then. No, but like, not even that, just everybody. I, it, it's almost like COVID. COVID was one of the best times for like, Talking and hanging out with friends, or at least for gaming. I game a lot. I play Call oh. of Duty. I was the, like, I no, hate no, it. No, I know you hate it, but I, well, luckily in my family, people around me, nobody really got that really close to me that we weren't getting, nobody you, really you got sick and stuff. You were, you were gaming a lot and it was fun. Yeah, no, like everybody was home and yeah. everybody was hanging out. Every night you go online, there's like memes about it. Like it's like that Vince McMahon crying little <laughs> meme thing. And it's like when I tell my son about like uh, Call of Duty days during COVID and like he can't explain it. Like it was everybody, people you didn't talk to for a long time were online and we're just talking. Side everybody's note, playing. Side note, Vince McMahon. Have you seen him recently? Oh, yeah. He's got a lot of people. And this crazy villain he's mustache. He's like di- dyed his yeah, hair yeah, and dyed his super hair. black. That's what, I wonder what age I'm going to get to when I, <laughs> when I choose to do that jet black when I just go. Here's the what thing. What are they thinking? Yeah, like, I, I, th- there's, a, there's something literally has to snap in somebody's mind. Or, or they get rid of all the mirrors in their house. 
the how do you not know that it looks so drastic? So like, everyone out there, like Giuliani, Google, and he's Google, like sweating. Yeah. It's like the browns coming down. <laughs> Google Vince McMahon, and now, he has like yeah. this, like, like not serial killer, fucking villain mustache. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, like he's gonna put somebody put on train somewhere. tracks. Yeah, he's gonna <laughs> put, put somebody on train tracks. <laughs> he just looks so fucking. He well, it's vanity. watched too I, many. Yeah, I can understand um, to a, 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 a Fernandez. Yeah, like, I can understand to a certain extent, but um, look, vanity. After a certain point, like if I got to be like an old old man, I think I would embrace. It. Like I'm an old guy now. Well, you know? also he's from that world of like um, he's in front of the camera wrestler. too. Yeah, yeah, and, they, and they all have like great bodies and yeah. they're huge. And I just feel like he... It's in the culture, I guess, yeah. and the stuff. Yeah. You see a it's, lot, of, like in uh, Mexico or whatever, like a lot of the female celebrities out there who get a lot of the same work done. When one gets a lip thing or one gets a, a that's, facelift, that's they kind of all have them. <laughs> it, it's kind of a thing. Like they, they, Me and my mom and I were talking about it the other day. She's like, why do people do that? That's across everywhere. That's just yeah. women. Uh, that's just like people in general, like guys, this whole like... Like uh, honestly, like the whole fitness world, eighteen now. I'm I'm seeing like seventeen year olds, high school, like just joked yeah, out. Like guys, uh, they're taking gear. Like yeah. I'm like a lot that guy of them. Sam Sulik or whatever. Uh, I think he's he's, he's only like twenty one, and the guy's huge. He's but clearly on seen, something. Have you seen this? The acne though. Yeah. Like no, is that yeah. from? It only seems like his face. It only seems to be on his face. He doesn't really seem to have it on his back. And don't get me wrong, like stuff. acne's perfectly fine. Yeah. But is that from the drugs or is that from? I don't know. Maybe. Because Maybe he sweats a, a lot effect? though, but he's working and he's in the yeah. gym. You know, there can be a lot of germs around there and stuff yeah. like that. But the dude's massive. Everybody knows he's on stuff, but it's still impressive the way he he's very intellectual, the way he talks and stuff like that. I watch some of his stuff just because he's literally kind of explaining to you just and how I, I, he I does don't stuff. I don't judge on any of that. Yeah. If you want to do that, if you if it's your own life, mm-hmm. like you want to start they taking extra doing extracurricular mm-hmm. things and <laughs> high five to you like more power to you um i'm not there to judge like yeah no it's your life you can live it the however you want to live and, and it. it's weird because they're still doing something healthy you know to better themselves they, they're using something crazy but they're still i don't know how healthy that but but they're, like, but they're still working out yeah because either way they still get heart attacks, again they I, die can't, and stuff I, get, I can't i can't i can't judge them just for the sheer fact that like it's their life yeah it like I would do it if they didn't have all those crazy side effects Fuck. that you know about. They they take that because I want then the they easy to, way. Then they have the to easy. take another drug to like help their liver out oh, because yeah. of that. Mm-hmm. Like that's too like much. The liver for king. Me. He he has like a million supplements a day. Like they're Fuck pumping them full of stuff. Man. It's crazy to get that physique. More power to them. Like, and then they get they stuck because great. it becomes their job. You know, and they yeah. end up having to become that thing, which is wild. And I I, I would say if there was an, if there was a pill like an easy way to just get in shape, I would totally do it. But again. Even that takes so much yeah. consistency and stuff like that. It's just like I take creatine. That's probably the extent that I do. Yeah. And luckily, I don't get, I haven't got kidneys, you know, kidney stones or anything well, yet. You drink a lot of water. Yeah, drink a like, lot of water. Flush and stuff. yourself out a lot. But after you, there's a lot of misinformation about a lot of stuff online. You just got to kind of try it. And hopefully, if you start to feel something, then stop yeah. doing it. But, dude, I can't. I, I know. We, we might have to more. end this yeah. soon because, like, every time, we're like, coming I'm, up on an hour, anyways. Yeah. Should. Because every time I keep breathing in, and like you're making me laugh, and it's like hard for me yeah. not to well, cough. Even me, like <clears throat> right now, I told you, even before the Mickey thing, like me clearing my throat all the time, that laugh really took it out of me. I was, I, I, was, I would have to start going <clears throat> every second now. <laughs> We're sorry about that, guys. Cheeks. I know. Yeah, yeah. We plan. We talk about my, Michael's. We always do butt stuff. It's just, it's, 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 it's a, it's a regular segment, but Don't it's so say funny. Sorry. Don't say no, sorry. Yeah. We're going to talk about butt stuff all day yeah. long. Yeah, you every know what podcast. You, I, I guess so. You know what you guys are checking butt in for. Stuff. You got, you guys, Please put it up there yeah. so I don't look stupid. Well, hopefully the computer can do it now. <laughs> I'm just going to put a, an art, an artist rendition of what Michael looked like that night. I just, <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Hey, if anybody's artist out there, send us stuff. I'll put it up there. We're not to that. But there's like bad friends that, that podcast. Uh, who, with who? Uh, Andrew Santino and Bobby Lee. Oh, uh, Roger. They're, one of the funniest they're my pop- They're my favorite podcast. Dude, them oh and Conan O'Brien. Because they just go all out. And they, they cover all the bases. They make sure they have every type of but race they're, in there. They're, they're, so they their can humor see is just so... It's funny. It's intelligent. It's dumb. Yeah. But it's just... It, but they go after each other. They do it other. so yeah. well. Yeah. And he like he's an Asian guy. And he makes fun of being Asian. But he's like... They're in that bubble. So like, it's cool if you make fun of me. They have a Spanish guy, Mexican guy... 
uh, Doc used to be on there, black guy. So they make sure they have all the bases covered that they go, we're making fun of each other here, guys. Everybody's cool with it, right? And then we're just watching. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. It is it's hilarious. hilarious. But people send them pictures. Anytime they bring up something funny, they point to the audience and go like, if any good artists out there, and then people just send them pictures, like draw, draw <laughs> cartoons. It'd I be awesome watched, to get I haven't there. listened to it or watched it in a while. I got I to gotta yeah. jump back I recommend on another podcast. You don't want to watch us be stupid? You can watch another <laughs> no, dumb watch guys. Us, watch, watch us. us. Please, please watch us. But thank but you guys for checking in with yes, us again. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you for watching. Yeah, thank um, you guys. We really appreciate it. Uh, please don't tell people about this story. Yeah, don't spread it. Just watch it for yourself. Get <laughs> a laugh out of it. But uh, I'm glad I got a good laugh at it. I enjoyed this one. Man, Michael embarrassing himself. <laughs> man, children. All right, we'll catch you next time. See you guys.